Hello everyone, welcome to Gintendo stream number 51. I'm Jeremy Parrish and I'm streaming Wario Land 2 for Game Boy Color. Uh, this game is also available on Monochrome Game Boy, but that's not the version that I'm playing. So uh, let's see, it looks like I am live. Hopefully people can hear me and we shall go. So this is a, a game with persistent saves, and I have finished a, a bunch of it. Let's see where I am here. Okay. So as you can see, I finished like, I don't know, quite a few of the stages actually. I don't have all the treasures, but I do have most of the stages complete. That's what the purple treasure box are, boxes are. Yeah, it looks like the only thing I'm missing is this path over here. But then I need to get a bunch of treasures to get the true end, which is actually really annoying to get. So, huh, let's go up here. Someone said, can you remove the mic from your mouth, please? I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. So, anyway, I've got a lav mic like four inches from my mouth. Okay, well, surly comments aside, let's uh, just jump into the stage, the first hidden stage. So this uh, stream, a lot of people are doing media blackouts today, and I respect that, but I figured the, the best thing I could do to show my solidarity with the protests happening around the U.S. right now is to uh, donate all the proceeds I make on YouTube from streaming and my videos uh, this month to a uh, charity. And uh, I already contribute monthly to the Southern Poverty Law Center, splcenter.org. And uh, I'm going to continue giving money to them because they do great long-term work fighting against racial injustice, racism, um, abuse of immigrants, uh, they work for law enforcement reform and uh, pro-GLBT rights and so on and so forth. Just a great organization all around. So uh, that's where the proceeds this month go to and I strongly encourage everyone who would like to you know do some do some work for good to uh, go to SPL Center and make a donation. And I can't remember what this little box here is supposed to be. So, we will go in there. Alright, so Wario Land 2 is a big change for the Wario series. It is the point at which Wario became something other than Large Mario. Oh no, he became extremely Large Mario with a very large head because he was strung, stung by a bee. Um, but the previous, you know, the Wario Land games, I've streamed Wario Land 1, which is Super Mario Land 3, and I've streamed Wario Land for Virtual Boy, which is really kind of the same thing except much cooler. And uh, they played more or less like Mario games, except, you know, with a heavy guy who gets drunk. No, he didn't get drunk in those other games. That's, that's new. Um, yeah, so anyway, this is the one where, where things change. You can't die as Wario in this game, but you can get really drunk, or crunk, as the case may be. Sometimes you gotta kill a penguin who's getting you drunk. So eventually his intoxication will wear off, although I think I have to jump in water, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Alright, so no more drunkenness for Wario. He is a sober, sober lad. I feel like there's a way to break through those bricks and I don't remember what, the, what it is. So you are getting me at my absolute best, that's right. Anyway, this is age and Oh no, someone, Juan Gomez says, are we going to see the Elmo games on Game Boy Color? Absolutely not. But as I was saying, this is a Gintendo stream, and that means 
I, unlike Wario, am drinking booze. Specifically, it's a Japanese gin that I picked up a little tiny bottle of last year called Yome Ishu, I think. It's a very interesting gin because it's uh, distilled by a company that is basically, uh, they make medicine. And I think they use some of their, uh, their medical herbs in, uh, in the gin. So it tastes not quite like any other gin I've ever had, but it's not like one of those Japanese gins where they made it out of shochu, which is always bad. I gotta knock this guy. No, I'm trying to knock him upside down, not out. Anyway, so that's, that's tonight's gin. I guess I killed the guy. The rat is dead. Stox Deluxe says you should make a Wario Gin cocktail using lots of garlic. That is actually the most horrible idea that I've heard all day. And it's been a pretty bad day, so yeah, I don't know about that one. So at this point, I don't seem to be having a lot of luck trying to remember how to break through stuff. So... Wait, can I jump when I'm rolling? I can't remember. Let's find out. Oh, almost. Okay, there we go. But I have to jump a little sooner. Yeah, that's right. That's what I'm talking about. Wow. Okay, so a little success there. All Lucky 7 says, let's talk about the medicinal properties of booze. Well, gin, as it happens, uh, it's kind of derived from medicine an alcohol uh, that was involved macerated juniper berries and uh, tonic also is made with quinine which is an anti-malarial anti drug some people were hoarding tonic earlier this year thinking it would help against COVID-19 which is really just not the case There's not enough quinine in modern tonic water to actually affect malaria. But back in the days of colonialism, the Dutch and the British used to uh, take these macerated juniper berries in an alcohol base and the quinine syrup, which they added sugar to because quinine is very bitter. And uh, they would drink that to help fight malaria and allow them to Explore into Africa, which, you know, not a lot of good stuff came from that. So maybe that's not the appropriate drink for this week, but I'm willing to uh, not use gin for imperialistic purposes. I just want a beverage. So I guess that's not really the medicinal purposes of gin so much as the political aspects of it. Whoa, those guys are not happy about me slamming the ground. So yeah, you can't you can't die as Wario in this game. All you can do is um, lose coins. Yeah, I feel like there's a way to get past those guys, but I just am shedding money like a Donald Trump property. God dang it! Can't even hit them from behind. Am I trapped forever? Seems like I might be. Maybe if I can... Nope, they won't hit me backward. Uh, so this may be a really short-lived stream where I don't actually accomplish anything because I'm trapped between these guys. Oh my god. How did I get past the other ones? How did that happen? <laughs> oh no. No. What is happening? Stax Deluxe says, Queenine is actually toxic in large doses. So don't drink too much tonic. I actually don't know how to get out of here. I th think I'm stuck. This is nonsense.
Oh, what's wrong with me? Is there a way to get out of here? There's not. Oh, man. Oh. What? What in God's name? There we go. All right. Good job, Wario. You moron. Now that I've lost, like, wow, something like 150 coins? That's amazing. I guess Wario's not the moron, it's me. Anyway, so that's uh, Wario Land 2 in a nutshell, really, is um, some weird, weird design concepts that you have to kind of puzzle your way through. And eventually get past those little screaming guys. And the drunk penguins. So I, I believe in the Japanese version of this game, those guys are throwing beer. Like steins of beer. But of course, Nintendo of America being Nintendo of America, they were like, No, Wario should get drunk off bowling balls, of course. I don't quite get the choice there, but hey, whatever. by Penguin. So there are some status effects that you can be hammered with in this game that are beneficial, and there are others that are just annoying, like being drunk. And some of them are annoying and beneficial, like being set on fire, because if you can, you know, make that work for you, it's great, because you can break blocks that can only be destroyed with fire, but if you can't, then it's really annoying. Oh! Alright, I think I can make it through here. Nope, I can't make it through. Goodbye, goodbye forever. Small spike, I can't hurt that in any way. It will only make me lose coins. Taiya! Mike Sherry says they are not steins in the Japanese version, they are full fifths of booze. Charlie Wesley says bowling balls full of vodka. I'm pretty sure that was a gimmick. All right, I don't know if this is the real exit or if it's the bonus exit. Actually, it doesn't matter. I forgot to find the treasure. So this was pointless, kind of like my uh, playing Mario Vance last week. <sighs> Good job, me. Tuberculosisness says, what is the general goal in this game? So in this uh, Wario game, what you're trying to do is your treasure or your castle has been occupied by Captain Syrup, a pirate lady. Oh, I've got to do this thing. Um, I can't even remember what I'm supposed to do here. Oh, right. So that's going to be... Uh, anyway, Captain Syrup has taken your castle and stolen all your treasure, and so you're trying to claim it back. Oh, at least I got that. That's good. Okay, so one more piece of this mysterious puzzle. Uh, Stax Deluxe says gin and bowling balls. Balling, gin and bowling balls sounds like a drink from the Big Lebowski. I feel like the Big Lebowski was probably not a gin guy. He was beer. He liked, he liked his oat soda. He liked his white Russians, which are vodka, which is, you know, vodka is gin with no personality. All right, so I don't know if I'm going to have much luck finding treasures in this part of the, uh, in, in a live stream, but I will try to see if I can find the route over to this branch. Maybe I can beat this branch and complete all the stages. There is Captain Syrup, doing her thing. She's like the original Risky Boots. William says, what do you think Nintendo's plan for Wario will be in the near future? It's, it's always hard to say with Nintendo. Just when you think they've forgotten a property, they're like, oh no, actually, 
Here he is. Um, I don't an anticipate another Wario Land game basically ever, but maybe uh, you know he'll, he'll be in cameos, and maybe there'll be like a WarioWare type game. Has there been a WarioWare on Switch? I don't think there has, so we're we're due for one. So I'm trying to remember what that monkey can do. Besides get squashed. And I can't tell if that spider is a background element. It is. It's just there for decor. Alright. Ah, uh, look, we're 15 minutes in. So, hello! If you are just joining, I'm Jeremy Parrish. This is a Gintendo stream where Wario gets punched a lot, runs into things, loses his money. It's great! Uh, I'm streaming this game from a Nintendo 64 because I do things like that. Now there is a chicken here where there was not before. And uh, I'm also drinking some kind of Japanese gin. I can't remember its name, but it's made with kuromoji, which is a Japanese, um, like a plant. Yes, that's what you call those things, plants, um, that has uh, black spots on the leaf that looks like look like uh, writing, which is how I got its name. And it's used in medicines, it's used in perfumes. So it's a very sort of uh, earthy gin. Oh, I see. That's what I'm doing. I'm throwing things at those blocks. Sorry, it's been, uh, it's been, you know, half a year since I played this, so I've forgotten every single thing about this game. Sorry for killing you. Oh, that bird was not happy about me killing his friend. Or her friend. I don't know that's a hen. Uh, it's got a comb, so I think it's a, I think it's a cock. And I realize you can't say that word on a stream without someone making an inappropriate joke about it. So I regret, I regret the error. Okay, so I guess when I go into a door... Oh no, now I'm a zombie! This is an annoying uh, power or status condition. There we go, sunlight, sunlight airs me out. These guys are so much worse than booze for Mario. Oh, again. When Wario jumps, he oozes off things. Dang it. Alright, this part is tough. Anything involving zombification. There we go. That was actually much simpler than I made it out to be. That seems bad. Oh, that wasn't what was supposed to happen. How frustrating. So this is one of those games where uh, you can just kind of roam around and explore and find things and do things until you realize, oh, I've completed the level. Oh, I found a treasure. So there are, what, 50 stages total in this game? Each one has a hidden treasure and also one of those puzzle pieces that you saw earlier. So there's a lot to do in this game. Initially it seems like it's only 25 stages, but then after you beat it, you discover there is actually an entire uh, second half to the game. And it's not like the inverted castle in Symphony of the Night. It is legit content, not just a, uh, an upside down sprite swap, background palette swap, whatever. Okay, so I guess whichever door you come out of, that creature manifests, the, the image that's above the door, that, that creature manifests in the room when you return. Is that right? Yes, okay. I'm sure there is a point to all of that. There is a great deal of puzzleishness to this game, but I don't know exactly what that would be yet. Okay, fake Donkey Kong. Let's, uh, let's -a go. Oh, 
I'm not sure if there's a point to having monkeys on the screen. Okay, so that's a dark room. I assume, yeah, that guy's going to turn me into a zombie. Shabby Wizard says, hey Jeremy, what are you playing this on? 3DS? No, this is on a Nintendo 64 system with um, a Wide Boy 64, which is a dev tool to allow people to uh, play, record, etc. Game Boy Color games on N64. Kind of like a Super Game Boy, but... Oh! But uh, with color. I don't know why they never released the Wide Boy in, you know, like a, a, a commercial product edition of it. Because it's a great little device. It's, it is basically just a Super Game Boy. It even has a link cable port. But unfortunately, they are hard to come by. They were very expensive at the time. They're actually very expensive now. Okay, so this is like a weird looking fish thing? I don't even know what that is. Okay, so that is a pelican that spits fish at me. None of these creatures really seem to have any benefit to them, so I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do in this stage. Failing One says, any chance you'll continue streaming Mother 3? <sighs> Probably not. I, I enjoyed streaming Mother 3 last week, but I also realized that it's a game that really, you know, to get the most out of it, it's, it's such a game about, one, the story, and two, the, uh, the music and the timing of combat that... Streaming it is not the best way to experience it because I'm, you know, distracted the whole time. So, uh, I just don't feel like I, I would get the most out of the game playing it that way. Well, I'm kind of at an impasse here. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. I feel like I've been in all the doors. And, uh, they give me chickens and monkeys and stuff, but there's not really much of anywhere I can go. Whoa, okay, I haven't been in this one. This is probably where I need to go. That thing has electricity, which I did not realize at the time. Ah, good, another zombie puzzle. So no, I probably won't stream uh, Mother 3 again, um, but I do have some plans for some other very good RPGs that I know a little better, so I don't have to pay as much attention. Lord X Mugen says, Stream Skies of Arcadia. You know, I love that game, but I feel like the encounter rate would be oh, just unbearable for people to watch. I'm not really eager to, uh, to revisit it. Even Skies of Arcadia, um, what was the remastered version for GameCube? Whatever that one was. All right, there is timing here. I'm sure I can get it. No, that wasn't it. That was not the timing. Wow, this is uh, daunting. There we go. Sometimes you gotta just go for it. Oh, and there's more. No, no. I'm going to fall right through here. It's going to be so sad. All that progress for nothing. So I'm starting to realize as I play this that this is maybe a game that is uh, better suited for solo play where people aren't watching you make constant mistakes trying to get through past these uh, horrible little ghost guys. Ugh, that was not... I don't even know what I did there. This entire stream might just consist of me playing this one level. Kind of like my, I uh, did a stream last night of Ninja Gaiden 3 for limited run games. And uh, that was just me fighting through Area 3 over and over again. 
like for 45 minutes. Kind of amazing. Part of, part of what makes this challenging is his run controls. You have to just kind of go for it. <sighs> that was not going for it. Alistair B says, blame the N64 D-pad. Yes, that's a good excuse. But this game, um, it does have kind of mushy control. Well, not mushy, but like stiff. Wario is not, he's not Mario. That's the point. He's a uh, clunkier. He's not as weirdly as elegant. I don't know if that's a word anyone has ever used about Mario, but yes. There we go. Okay, I think I just turned on the lights in another part of the stage. So hopefully those dark rooms that I was going through, yes, they have details now that I can see. Oh, I need those coins. I'm Wario. I'm greedy. Not again. Okay, extremely large coins, those are very good. Although, it looks more like Waluigi on those coins than it does Wario. Oh, that's bad. I don't like that. I'm sure the, uh, the buttons on this controller, N64 controller, are just uh, incredibly noisy. I apologize for that. Yeah, that kind of looks like Wa uh, Waluigi, to, in my opinion. Whose money is this, anyway? Uh, let me take a moment to look through the chat and see what people have been saying. Uh, let's see. Alistair B says, do you still play on a PVM, Jeremy? Yes, that's what I'm playing on right now. Um, Failing One says, what's your favorite Dragon Quest title? Man, um, I realize canonically 5 is the better game, but I really love 9. I spent so much time with 9. 11 is also great in a very traditional kind of way, but 9 is just one that I can just veg out, play, go fight random stuff collect uh, goodies out in the world. I really hope they remaster that for Switch. That would be great. Not these jerks again. Oh, I've already been through here anyway, so what am I doing? Okay, let's see if I can make the jump up there. No, I can't, because Wario is kind of bad at running. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Jazzy Spinal Fusion says, if you could make a game based on a prog rock album or epic, what game would you pick? I would absolutely, that's the easiest question. Oh, the easiest question I would, uh, I would, I would do Tarkus by Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. You are an armadillo tank fighting Catholicism. And there's a manticore boss battle. Like, that's, that's a, that is like straight up JRPG stuff right there. So yes, Tarkus the RPG. No, not this guy. Not a fan of zombies. Dang it. That was inexcusable. Okay, cool. Very fun. Love it. Alright, so that was probably pointless because I'm sure he'll respond by the time I get it back up there. Well, what's over here? Oh, it's another zombie guy. I've already done that, though. A 
Lady Fantasy by Camel would be sweet too, says Old Man Jables. Um, I feel like that might be a dating sim. Oh, hey. Um, let's see. This is the treasure room. So let's hope I can actually finish this. So you have to do like a matching thing here. Oh man, it's been a while. Oh right, I've got to remember which one he's in. Oh, that's easy. Okay, got it. So I got a treasure. Hooray! Final Show says, what's your favorite Sega CD RPG? I haven't actually played that many. Um, oh -ho. Zombie must never kill zombie. It is zombie law. Sega CD RPG would definitely be uh, Lunar 2. It is very good. And you know, I know people complained about the, uh, the changes that Working Designs made to the balance. And things like having to pay for saving with uh, experience. But that game did not give me any trouble. I don't know. I was okay with it. I didn't even have any trouble fighting Borgen. And I know people think that dude is a big bastard, so... Oop. Someone just reminded me that I can press up to do the high jump, and that is uh, a handy thing to remember. Thank you. Seems like it's going to be annoying. Oh, that was annoying. Terribly annoying. Speaking of Sega CD, says Passus Justicia, Road Blaster, Road Avenger, or Road Prosecutor. Um, I don't think I've played any of those. Scott Arsenal says, I'm still salty over working designs, adjustments, and Alundra. That's another one that did not give me any trouble. People complain about the ice puzzle, but it was not, um, I don't know. I didn't think it was that, that insane. And I'm not just, oh, I'm not just bragging because look, look at the way I'm playing this game. There's nothing to brag about here. I just uh, didn't get hung up on the same snags as a lot of people with working design stuff, which isn't to say that there were snags weren't there. Just for whatever reason, I kind of slid past them. And I have a, a soft spot for Alundra anyway, because I uh, won a contest with IGN.com. Oh, man. This little ghost guy is really annoying. I won a contest at IGN back in the day. They sent me a PlayStation and a copy of Alundra. So that's, uh, you know, he can't beat free. What am I supposed to do here? Good lord. There's a lot of chat happening in the comments and I can't really keep up with it, but people are talking about RPGs, about Wario, and about other things. There we go. Okay. Wait, is this it? That, that was all I was doing was just getting money? That was not time well spent. That spider is just as annoyed as I am. Whoa, it's a monkey. He's throwing spikes instead of barrels. That is not canonical. Okay, so I still have not found my way through this stage. I would really love to know where I'm supposed to go. I will figure it out one of these days. Pretty sure I've been in over here. Maybe I'm supposed to go up there? Hmm. 
Mm, nope. Been there, done that. And I've been up over here. What the heck? We'll go in the store again anyway. Oh yeah, I've already been there. Never mind. Ah, so I guess now I just need to find the exit. Is that correct? Oh, without getting electrocuted. So if you're just joining the stream, once again, I'm Jeremy Parrish. This is Gintendo, where I play a classic video game uh, or wander around wondering what I'm supposed to do in a classic video game and drink gin, which makes me care a little less about the frustrations. Have I been down over here? Let's go. Maybe that's what I need to do. Aha! Progress. This is definitely a game about noticing inconsistencies. Ooh, wow. I fell way down. So the zombie looks like that's actually the only way I can get down to that little hidden alcove there. So sometimes even the annoyances are good. That's the inherent contradiction of Wario Land 2. Things seem bad, but maybe they're good. Wario seems bad, but maybe he's good. Or maybe he's just less bad than the other bad guys. Oops. Or maybe I just messed up. Goodbye. Jesse McConnell says, would you lob this in here as a Metroidvania game? I would not because there is no real persistence to Wario. He is just a guy who can run into stuff. You get these power-ups or power-downs, as the case may be, and they're temporary, and you don't gain items. So yeah, I've, I would not consider this a Metroidvania game. I feel like the progression is not there. Whoa, that was cool. Good job, me. Every time I'll just get a little further before... Uh, Running into the next obstacle. Ugh. Jazzy Spinal Fusion says, what's the first video game you remember playing? That would be Ms. Pac-Man on an upright. Back when it was brand new, because I am old. It was very exciting. I uh, almost beat the first stage. I was like five at the time, so what do you want? But I do have a lot of fond memories of Ms. Pac-Man. So whenever I have the opportunity to play it, I definitely drop in a quarter. All right, I did it. Hooray. See these little purple platforms? So, oh, it's that guy. Now I need to throw him, is that correct? No? Oh right, I keep falling on him. Smashing my belly into his exposed belly. Not really much of a boss, honestly. But hey, I beat him! Alright, so I finished that level. Hopefully that means I've opened up a new level. We will see what happens. Boy, I have a lot of coins. That's good. Coins are good. Especially if you're Wario. Hooray, money. If 
Ailing says, why is Pokemon Mystery Dungeon the best game franchise? Is is it? Is it really? Would not have guessed. I do like Mystery Dungeon, and Pokemon's okay, but I feel like it's not a great combo. You have to really play a lot of the game to get to the good stuff. Oh look, I did make progress. Okay, cool. So, four more stages and I will have beaten all the levels in the game. Seems like I need to hold on to the owl in this one. Duddy D says, Wario Land, over, Wario Land 3 over complicates Wario Land 2 a bit, I'll say that much. I agree. I have never finished Wario Land 3. It's the one Wario game. Well, it's one of the few Wario games I've not finished just because it's, uh, I don't know, it gets kind of tedious. Like, it's a real technical masterpiece. There are a lot of, oops, a lot of inventive ideas in it, but it's just kind of tiresome. I would love to hold on to the owl, but I do not see an owl. So, pray tell, how am I to hold on to something that I do not see? Oh, there we go. I've terrified the poor owl. Now I need to uh, get the owl somehow. Maybe give him some bugs to terrify him. Ask him to tell me about fossils. Well, that was not a great idea. Yeah, let's just uh, keep going up and see what happens. Aha! That seems like an owl that I can hold on to. This owl is my puppet, apparently. This owl actually looks a lot like the uh, Tootsie Roll, or the Tootsie, Tootsie Pop Owl. I don't remember that owl's name, but I do remember that he could count up to three. And that was not the same as the give a hoot, don't pollute owl. All right, cleared that without any disasters. That's nice. These are just like straight up razor spears. So I guess this game's kind of getting serious. Oh, go Wario. Up. Okay, I got some money. Money's good. Do like money. And I guess, oh yeah, there is a door down here. Cool. All right. Traveling through this maze, which has the same color scheme as those um, the snakes in Battletoads. If you've ever uh, ever played that level, then that snake pattern is seared into your brain. I will take this game over Battletoads any day. And even those annoying ghost guys I was just dealing with are nowhere near as bad as basically any level of Battletoads. Hmm, let's look in here. So I need to find a monster. I can chuck at some switches. There's a monster up there, but I will have to chase them up to the top. There we go. Wario and his incredibly useful buttocks, just smashing the living hell out of the scenery. All right, so that is accomplished. Oh, there's a lot of a lot of talking here. People still calling Wario a Metroidvania. I disagree, sir or ma'am. 
Um, let's see. Okay. People just kind of speaking among themselves about which games are good and bad. And I encourage this discussion. I feel like I probably need an owl to get me through there. But I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with... Oh, I think these barriers are activated with the switch. There we go. That makes sense. Okay. Found the exit, but I do not have a treasure. But you know, after spending like an hour in that previous stage, I'm kind of glad to just breeze through this one. And my reward is some medicine flavored gin. for me. found another little tile thing. I wonder uh, which level that is that I'm missing up there. I need to go find that. How did I, how did I not get that treasure? That's disappointing. So I'll mention here again that um, all my YouTube streaming and video proceeds for June are being donated to the Southern Poverty Law Center, splc.org, which uh, is a great organization that battles racial injustice and um, immigrant abuse and things like that, uh, promotes LGBT rights, promotes... Uh, law enforcement reform, and so on and so forth, especially in the southern states. And uh, it's a great organization. I strongly recommend you check them out and consider contributing to them. I, I donate to them monthly. And uh, they do, yeah, they do good good work. ProPublica is ProPublica. Yes, it's also a good one. But you don't have to, because just by watching the stream, you are doing good. So thanks for joining. Oh, it's a hopping... What is that supposed to be anyway? Oh, it's like a little guy with a spiky mask. I think those things are from Zelda, aren't they? Yeah, you have to like use a grappling hook to pull their mask off. But Wire does not have a grappling hook, so he just blunders into them. So I see people talking about the different Wario Land games. I do intend to play other Wario Lands on stream at various times. So I guess Wario Land 3 would be after this, and then Wario Land 4, a personal favorite. So I'm trying to figure out the mechanism here for the stage. What determines which doors are open? Five is obviously the goal. No zombie guy. Actually, I think I need to be zombified so that I can destroy the zombie. I like how I like how when he turns, he kind of does the thriller thing. Or when he attacks, I guess. Yeah. Oh, no, not them. Oh, oh all my cash. That was like a stock market crash right there. I'm sure in theory there's a way to get through there without taking a ton of damage, but I do not know what it is. 
I also don't know how to get through those. So that seems bad. Not really useful. I have to go back through the gauntlet again. Nope. Not good. Not good. The opposite of good, which is bad. Run, Wario. Okay, keep getting hit. No, other direction. Oh, Lord. Oh, jeez. No. <laughs> I hate this. Oh. I don't ever want to come back to this room again. Wow, that was actually the worst. Uh, okay, so if I go through door three and I come back out, then doors, oh, two and four are open now. Let's see what's in two. Oh, Sabaton Fighter says Zombie Wario can kill those guys. I see, I see. Someone else said when I, sh I shoulder bash them and wait for them to stop moving, but um, whenever I shoulder bash them, I just uh, take damage from the spikes. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Finally, I inflicted some damage. Oops. Did not mean to do that. Okay, so let's go back to room one, which was very annoying. But now that I know that there is a secret, maybe I can accomplish something. Of course, now I have to get room one open. There we go. All right. So do the thriller thing. Kill those guys, and I do see that I have opened a path, so now I can collect some cash. Thank you, helpful person whose name I've forgotten. That was very useful. Zombie Wario is more powerful than I realized. I should be a zombie every day. There we go. All right. So I'm kind of complaining about this game, but I really do think it's brilliant. I mean, it, it can be kind of annoying uh, the way you are sort of inflicted, have, have things inflicted upon you. But it's just really inventive the way they said, you know, Wario is a bad guy. That means he can't be hurt or killed, only inconvenienced. It's a, I don't know, a very forward-thinking approach to uh, game design, in my humble opinion. But I still have not found the, uh, what do you call it, the treasure for this stage. Oh, I don't like this at all. There you go. Take that. One of these days. <sighs> ah, there we go. Big Waluigi heads. Whoa. Okay, well that was great. I earned a ton of cash. But now I need the treasure. Is this the treasure room? Dare we hope? Ah, oh, good times. All right. Let's play and go for the easy money because I don't feel like doing all that again. Just burn those coins. I've only got like 30,000 of them, so it's okay. All right, it's the chef mole. Or the, the mole wearing an apron.
Victory. Okay. Now I can go to door five and get the heck out of the proverbial dodge. Assuming I can open door five. All right, we're good to go. Assuming I can make it past the bomb throwing or spike throwing monkey. There we go. All right, good times. Oh wow, it's almost uh, 6.30 now. So I need to call it a night pretty soon so I can go make dinner. But it looks like I did accomplish some things, and that's good. I like accomplishing things. So that's going to be three. Yeah. All right. Good times. So I'm, uh, I'm making good progress in the save file. Maybe someday I will come back to it and actually get all the treasures. And finally beat the final boss of this game, which I've never actually done because it's very demanding. Super Cirque says, hi Jeremy, hi Super Cirque, I'm about to stop streaming, I'm very sorry that you are missing out. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot of talk about Wario Land 4, and that is a personal favorite of mine. I am looking forward to getting to that point in the streaming series, but first I do have to get through Wario Land 3, and I kind of feel like someday I should go back and play Virtual Boy Wario Land on stream, just because uh, the first time I played it I was, I, you know, just experiencing it for the first time, and now that I know it and kind of how it works, uh, I think it would be a more, you know, a more impressive stream. Not that my streams are ever especially impressive, but, you know, like just uh, just from the sense of, hey, this this guy actually finally knows what he's doing. Um, so I'll, I'll consider that someday. My virtual boy was out of commission for a while due to a broken ribbon cable, but it's back in action thanks to Jacob Proctor, so um, yeah, I should make use of that. All right, so I think uh, this is the point where I call it a night. This is a good, um, good satisfying kind of gameplay loop right here. I'm just breaking stuff and getting coins. That's, that's the real appeal of Wario Land. I don't want to stop playing, but I do need to go. So, Thanks to those of you who joined tonight for this Wario Land stream. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me get stuck with zombie ghosts for like an hour. Um, and I hope you will join me again for whatever I decide to stream tomorrow morning. I'm going to do the thing where I stream at night and then in the morning. And uh, yeah, I'm sure it will be something interesting. Probably not more of this because I feel like this requires a slightly more awake version of me than you will get at 8 a.m. So, uh, yeah, thanks again for watching. Uh, like I said before, everything I earn on YouTube this month will be going to the Southern Poverty Law Center, SPL Center. Is that right? SPL, yeah. Center.org. Uh, so uh, please consider contributing to them. And if you don't want to do that, then just keep coming back and watching my videos and rack up those YouTube view counts because somehow that turns into money. And uh, I don't really get it, but it's not a ton of money, but it still counts for something. So anyway, thanks everyone for watching. I'm calling it a night. Good night and good luck out there. Let's save this bad boy. All right. Shadowhog said, see you tomorrow. You probably pre-recorded your upload. Oh, I see. Yeah, right. Gotcha. Good night.